Hello planner friends, it's Annie and I am finally all set up to do a financial binder or budget binder video. So I have prepared for this, um, prepared what I wanted to say and as I went through kind of um, the details and the items that I wanted to touch on, I realized this is going to be the hardest video that I will probably ever shoot as far as a planner video. And that's because finances are such a personal thing. They're also so different from situation to situation. And in kind of like the bottom line, I realized I am not teaching you how to have a budget or going to show you how to make a budget in this video. This video is taking an existing budget and applying that information to your planner to be able to track your spending, to track um, your bill pay, and to just keep on top of those kinds of details. So this is not um, an opportunity for me to tell you how much money to spend on groceries or how much to set aside in savings every month. Uh, for all of those kinds of things, I would direct you to Dave Ramsey. He is one of the most knowledgeable experts in the field of finances, and that's what my husband and I follow, his cash envelope system, his cash, cash budgeting system. Um, we are almost completely done paying down debt. We still have a little bit of a student loan left, and... I just, I love his financial freedom, his steps, and I highly recommend him, even if you have a budget, just kind of see what he has to say and see if there's any areas where you might be able to tweak yours and increase your spending cash in the month and decrease your debt a little bit more. So check out Dave Ramsey. I'll have his website linked down below. And especially if you don't currently have a budget, he is the best and I highly recommend him. So this video could not um, be made without help from two fantastic Etsy shops owners. And I really quickly want to introduce you to them and then I'll get into the nitty gritty of how to use their resources. So the first is all of the inserts I'm using are from Little Red Papers. And Bailey is so sweet. I came across her shop. I was so excited. I approached her about the collaboration and she got on board and um, she is offering a coupon code and the coupon is happy mail for 20% off anything in her store but there is a $5 minimum on the order and this coupon code is good until September 30th 2016 so definitely check out her shop you could order all of the inserts that I am going to show you so little red papers Bailey's shop and then the other is uh, plan with Anna's sticker shop and she specifically created these bundles when I asked her if she'd be interested in doing a financial collaboration. So you can get your own financial bundle, and I think they're going to be offered as a bundle as well as individual sheets of stickers. I could be wrong. Uh, as always, um, go to the shop for details on that. But it's called Annie's Financial Bundle, and in a little while, I will actually open one of these up and show you the sheets of stickers that will be available in this bundle. And she and Anna actually gave me two kits, one in glossy and one in matte, and I am going to host a giveaway over on my Instagram channel, which is a wife and mother, once I'm done filming and uploading this. And you can enter to win um, the matte or the glossy bundle. And of course, if you would rather just purchase this um, instead of waiting to see if you are a winner, there is a coupon code Annie20, and there's no um, minimum limit for that 20% off, and there's also no expiration date at this time. So you can use that code for Plan with Anna's shop, and then of course the code Happy Mail for Little Red Papers, and that information is down below as well. So these ladies have helped me put together the, I guess, tools in order to help you keep track of your finances and track them in your planner. Okay, so this is my financial binder. Actually, the first half of all of this in my Kiki K personal size, this half is all YouTube related and this is finance related. So you can see my finance tab. 
Um, the, these are the only inserts. I think these are so much crafting. I happen to have these year on one page and also year on two pages, but I put them in my financial section because it is important to know when a holiday is coming up or when a bill is due on a weekend or when you're going to be paid um, like on a crazy weekend or something like that because it affects processing time. Um, some of us do still pay bills like we have to pay our water bill at our local city hall or, or I think it's called and so we have to go in during business hours and it can't be on a holiday so if my water bill is due I need to be aware of holidays weekends and things like that and I need to plan accordingly and make sure I'm paying it several days in advance if it's going to fall on a weekend or something like that otherwise I'm running into past date um, fees or different things like that. So having a calendar like this can be huge and I like to keep it separate from all my other planning um, and have it strictly for finances. So it's not cluttered up with like, um, I don't know, no school and, and um, you know, my husband's work schedule or something like that. All right. So those are the only ones that are not um, specific, specifically from Bailey's shop, the little red papers, but I think she does sell something similar to this. She doesn't just have the financial insert. She also has tons of others. And real quick, cause I almost forgot to say it. These inserts are quality. They're, they're on par with so much crafting inserts. And I know most of us are familiar with so much crafting inserts. So you're going to be able to use pens on here. You're not going to get any bleed through. Um, maybe a little shadowing if you're using some sort of Sharpie or something like that. But all of the pens I've used so far have just been golden and worked out really well. Okay, so this was what especially attracted me to Bailey's shop is because she sells these cash envelopes. You can actually fit your cash in here and have different um, amounts of cash in these different envelopes and mark what category they are. So again, if you're unfamiliar with Dave Ramsey or a cash budget system, definitely check out his material. He explains it so well that I can't even do it justice. So um, check him out for why you would do this. I'm just kind of showing you how you do this. And I love that you can have the cash um, in different categories and split up and keep them in here, which is another reason um, I highly recommend that you have your finances in a separate binder. I, we all wish we could be in a perfect world where there was the perfect planner that met all of our needs and absolutely everything we wanted to keep in it was always in there all the time and it was also compact. But unfortunately, we do not live in that perfect world. And if we're gonna keep cash or financial sensitive information in a planner, it needs to be one that's going to be safe. And that usually means it's going to be one that's going to stay home. So this is separate from my personal planner that I carry with me. And this is set up um, in this binder so that way when I'm at home and I'm getting ready to pay the bills or balance the books, then I can just get this out and all of the information I need is at my fingertips. So that keeps my cash safe and as well as my information. So the first insert um, that I recommend getting from her shop is called the Bill Tracker, and it goes by month, and there's one month on one side, oops, and um, the next month on the other side. And this is a place to just write down all of the bills that you have. And what the total amount will be for the month and when it is due, and it gives you a place to check it off once it's paid. This is a fabulous overview insert because it answers the question, did I pay this bill in August? And you can very quickly and easily look at here and say yes or no, I paid this bill. Um, if you had to flip back through a bunch of weekly inserts in your personal planner, or even scroll back through the monthly inserts to see if you paid a bill, that could be hard. This is kind of like, for finances, it's better to be safe than to be sorry. It's better to over communicate, if you will, or have things written in multiple places than it is to be unsure of whether something was paid. And um, 
Another side note about how hard this video is to shoot, I had to leave everything blank. I, I couldn't put down actual amounts. I couldn't put down all of our bills and our, our things because I just find that very personal for us. And so I'm having to show you, um, I'm offering suggestions <laughs> that's kind of mock in here and I just think that's the nature of a sensitive video like a financial one. So um, this is nice though because you can go through and you can fill out for the rest of the year, um, even for an entire calendar year, 12 months, all of the bills, how much they are, when they're due, and then as you go through the various months, you can check off whether they're paid. And since these aren't marked with a year, once January 2017 comes around, I can use these first months and they are not going to waste. So that is really cool and I appreciate that. So this next set of inserts is a monthly expense tracker. And this is just kind of your, you know, like your checkbook register where you write down the month, you write down the date you purchased something, the description and the amount, and you can keep a running tally. I'm gonna come back to this because I always keep one of these in my personal planner, and I also keep a couple of envelopes with cash in my personal planner, and I will show you that um, after I go through the rest of these sheets. So this is just a very commonly recognized, can you guys hear my toddler? She is um, in a timeout in her room and she's not very happy about it and she's calling my name from the other room. So I, I don't know if you can hear it on the, <laughs> on the video, but it's really loud to me. So I apologize for that. But just know I'm not ignoring her like a bad mom. Um, there, we're, we're handling a situation. <laughs> okay. So these are very um, familiar most likely, you've at least heard of these, um, but these are, are very valuable and help you see and know at all times um, where you stand in your budget or um, where you stand in your bills or your month, you know, do I have more, what, what do they say, I have more month than paycheck, you know, so um, this will always help you see where you are. Um, the next set of inserts, again, Dave Ramsey, he is going to be your best friend if you want to get a grip and be in control of all of your finances because he talks about how easy it is to pay down your debt. Guys, it is so easy. It is so rewarding to pay down all debt, to cancel all your cards. Um, and not have any more credit hanging over your head, any more student loans, any car payments, and to live um, in financial freedom. It's so easy, he walks you through it, but this insert is going to help you see how long it's going to take before a particular debt or bill is completely paid. So this could be your car payment, you could write down you know, your car or the company it's from, if it's like a student loan, and then you can put in how much it is, the interest rate, um, when it's due, but to me that means when when you pay it in the month, like is it due on the 15th of every month? That's, that's to me what I would put here. Um, the minimum payment, the goal payoff date, and the account number. So again, sensitive information that you'll wanna keep at home, but you really need to have so you can reference. And this will give you like, uh, it, it says date, amount, and new balance. So you could see um, if you pay this off once a month, how much it is, what your new balance is, and you can see when you are going to have it fully paid off. I mean, it is just so cool. Definitely check out Dave Ramsey. You'll have so much more spending money if you can just um, work through any debt that you might have and get that money back that you can put towards other things every month. So I can't say enough good things about, about him and his system and, and doing finances that way. So this is a great tracker. Let me show you one that's not partially covered first. It's called the bill payment tracker. So it may seem like each of these inserts has a lot of the same information and like why would you spend money on all of these inserts? But I feel like they're helping you in different areas and um, after I describe some what this is for, I'll show you what I mean a little bit better, I think. So this one has what the bill is, um, a website, so you can pay it online sometimes, or even just a website to find out more information, 
with your account, your username and password, how much it is and when you have to pay it every month and you can have all of your different bills going through here. So here I've partially filled one in. In pencil, it's hard to see, I wrote tithe. We give a certain percentage to our home church every month. We pay our internet every month. We pay our water bill. Um, we actually pay it like quarterly, I think but we take a certain amount out from each paycheck so that way when the quarter comes or when it's due, we've already taken out that money um, instead of taking a larger chunk out of that particular paycheck. And the reason this is different than this bill tracker here is because this is the one that says, hmm, did I or didn't I pay that bill back in August? Well, this is where you go to find that information. This is the one that says, okay, it's August. I'm ready to pay my bills. I've got my computer open. I've got my checkbook ready to send in some checks if I do that. And where, like, what's my username? What's my account number? How much do I pay? This helps you get it done when you're sitting down to do it. So that's why I still think, um, even though some of this has the same pieces of information, it's very valuable to get all of these financial inserts. And I believe that is the last insert available. So those are the inserts. These are the inserts that I use. I kind of described how I use them. And now I wanna switch over real quick to my Kate Spade um, this is my personal planner that I take with me everywhere. Um, I use this when I go grocery shopping and things like that. And way in the back, I have one divider that says finance. And I have just a couple of pieces of information in here that I will run through really quickly. So again, the monthly expense tracker, I said I'd come back to it. It's very straightforward. You fill in what month it is. If you have a budget goal, you fill it in. Um, for us, the budget goal is always cash. So whatever the cash is that I physically have, when it's gone, it's gone. So I don't always have to write budget goal, like I'm trying to stay under a certain amount because I'm gonna stay under that amount whether I want to or not, <laughs> if that makes sense. But this is how I know where I stand at any given moment. So here is August. You can see um, it's very sloppy. I can still read it. I'm not trying to be neat. Um, I, I need to be legible, but I use this on the go. So if I go into the grocery store and I buy all of our groceries for the month, or well, I do it on a two week spending, or a two week cycle, when I come back into the car, I turn the AC on so I'm comfortable, I pull out my receipt and I fill this out right away, which is why it's so sloppy, why it's a very like in the moment type of thing. because I always tell myself when I get home, I'll pull out my receipts and I'll kind of balance the books and make sure I mark things down. No, <laughs> no, 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 it never happens. I never do it. I get interrupted, I forget, I lose a receipt, or I'm even looking at a receipt and I'm like, I don't remember what this is exactly and I can't get it into the right category or make it, it just, I find it so much simpler personally to do it immediately. So that's why I keep this in my personal planner. So when I get in the car, I can do that. I also keep my food envelope, our miscellaneous envelope, and our entertainment envelope in my personal planner because there's not money in this all the time. So I'm not too worried about losing it. Like right now, all three of these are empty because I'm at the end of a pay period. And when I go grocery shopping for food, I do my menu plan, I get my grocery list, I get the money in cash and put it in my food envelope, I go to the grocery store and I pretty much spend it all for the full two weeks and I detail my menu planning and how I do that. Um, I actually did it just a couple videos ago so you can find that on my uh, YouTube channel. But that's how I grocery shop, so I don't have to worry. And if I have a little bit of cash left over in here, that's great because that means I can either go out to eat or I can buy milk if we happen to run out before the next grocery um, cycle, but it's cash. So if it's gone, it's gone. So if it's gone and my kids are like, I really want a new box of cereal, it ain't happening because I don't have any cash for it. We have to wait until the next month. If we run out of peanut butter, we're just gonna have to figure out how to have just jelly sandwiches or just honey sandwiches because there's no more cash until the next month. And so that's why we go off the cash budget and why it's not a big deal that I keep this in here because the cash is usually only in there for like an hour <laughs> until I go grocery shopping. 
And then I have our miscellaneous. This is a very small amount of money, but each month, um, you just, you never know when you're going to run out of shampoo or you're going to run out of uh, Kleenex or you're going to run out of, I don't know, sandwich baggies or little things like that. That's not really a food item. So we always keep a little bit of cash in here. And um, if we run out, like we just ran out of dishwasher tablets, then um, my husband or I can run to the store this evening and we can use the money from the miscellaneous and purchase that and put the change right back in here. And it's there for those kinds of miscellaneous things that we need to purchase. And then our entertainment is also a small amount each month or each paycheck. Um, and this is so if we want to go out for dinner or we want to go to the movies or we want to take the kids to do an activity like my son's really into putt-putt golfing, then we use money from here. And again, once it's gone, it's gone. So if we've spent it on activities or going out to eat and I want to go out to eat again, we can't until the next pay period and when we replenish our entertainment money. So that's how... Um, we stay on budget by using the cash system and that's why I have a couple of envelopes that I frequently use and that don't have a lot of money in here and they're actually not really like that important. Of course, all money is important, but like if this got stolen, you one, you wouldn't really get enough cash for anything and two, it's just kind of our fun money and um, it will be replenished in two weeks anyways. So that is how I use the inserts in my planner. Now, on to these fun, amazing stickers. Okay, so this is a little financial bundle that um, Anna put together. Let me open it real quick and I'll run you through the stickers um, that I have been using. It has the, um, it's called Annie's Financial Bundle, and this is the savings tracker, so you can write down how much you're saving. Um, you can put a little savings icon in your monthlies or whatever. These are the icons, a credit card, a dollar bill, and a piggy bank as well. These I love, they're bill due, and you can write the details on there, and I like the heart because it's pretty and because you could actually check it off once you pay the bill. And then these small bill due flags are perfect for a monthly insert. I love these no spends and you can give yourself like a check mark every day of the week that you don't spend or you could put this on um, your monthly spread to signify no spend that month or that week or something. So there's just cute different ways you can use this. And then this last one is a daily spending tracker because let's face it, sometimes we need to spend a little bit of money every single day and we want to keep track of that. That's one way to do it. And these payday flags I love because you can use them in your weekly spread or your monthly spread. So that's what comes in the financial bundle that's available in her shop. And um, again, I'll put the coupon codes that I have for both shops, the links to both shops down below. And you definitely wanna check out my Instagram for more details and more photos about how I use the inserts and how I use these stickers. But I wanted to run through them really quick because I can show you a couple of examples of how I use them in my planner. So this is my current month. And I use the payday stickers here. You can see they overlap a little bit, but I've talked before in my plan with me is how I actually like that. I think it looks attractive and it's not covering up vital information. So personal preference. Um, otherwise you can use them in your weekly spread. And again, these are personal size inserts. So that gives you an idea of the size of the stickers. And then here is also um, one of the little money sacks. And I tend, I use this actually for a payday instead of um, saving. So they're very versatile stickers too, especially the icons. You know, you can use them however you want to. And then let me turn to this week. I'm trying to remember if I used any in this particular spread. I did. I used the credit card icon and I wrote pay bills. So this wasn't specifically for um, a particular bill but it was just to represent that I need to do my finances and now I have a cute sticker that goes along with it. So I really liked how I used that. Um, I love that you can use this uh, these stickers in either a personal planner or you can use them in an Erin Condren. So you can see here in my sidebar um, I put the bills here and I left them blank because it's personal information and um, it lets me know what it what I need to do um, and I'll fill them in later. And here you can see I'm using the no spend. I'm doing good. Um, I haven't spent anything this week 
and uh, I can also give myself another uh, check mark today. And then I also used one more sticker in this spread and it was the piggy bank and instead of writing down like I put this much aside for savings, I just wrote do bills. So I had this really cute sticker and now I can um, mark that I need to do my finances and everything is better with a sticker, right? <laughs> so there's so many different ways and so many different size planners you can use these stickers in. And I'm using them in monthly spreads, I'm using them in weekly spreads, I'm using them on daily spreads, and they're working out really well because there's a certain amount of versatility with stickers and that is really helpful. So that is everything that I can offer in as short a video as possible as far as the financial binder. Um, definitely put any questions you have down below. I, if I get enough questions um, where I feel like I left out some content, I might consider doing a follow-up video to this and doing another planner video related to financial planning. Um, if it's just a few questions, I'll just answer them personally. Um, the other thing to do would be to check out my Facebook group, Pretty Functional Planner, because it doesn't get any more functional than this. And um, like with the stickers and the fantastic inserts, there's a certain amount of prettiness to the function of paying bills and staying on top of our finances. And I love the, the ability for all of us to kind of ask questions and chip in because my experience with, with financial planning in my planner may not apply to you very well, but somebody else's system does. And that's what's great about Pretty Functional Planner, the group on Facebook. It's a place where we can all just kind of speak into each other's lives and help each other out when we have situations or questions like these. So be sure finally to head over to my Instagram. I wanna make sure that you guys um, can enter the giveaway to win either a matte or a glossy set of these stickers. And my camera battery is just about to die, so I have to end it here. Thank you guys so much. It has been a pleasure to do this video. I will see you next time. Bye.